I can't even tell you what number of video starts this is. It is like 10 o'clock on Vlogmas Day 9. I'm Rachel M. Today, we're going to be doing this beaut. D. This is the Flutter By Palette by Colourpop. I've been trying and trying to tape this. My camera setup is acting all crazy and I'm using one of my older cameras to fix the lighting until I get some new lighting so that my newer fancy your camera can actually take pictures that don't look like I'm in a freaking basement. Part of the problem is the lighting in this room is really bad, but I had to move into here because of the holidays and the puppy dog and all that stuff. So I'm working on it. I promise guys, I've, I've got feedback and I'm running with it and I am going to improve that quality. However, let's get back to Vlogmas. So you guys know this is the uh, countdown to Christmas where I just do a bunch of videos and I try to do a video every day and um, I'm waiting for a bunch of my boxes to come in and I've got a couple really fun ideas for videos that I'm making up but that'll require editing. So I needed something quick that I could do today and I wanted to go over this palette because I really, really enjoy this palette. It's fairly new for ColourPop. It's only been out like two, three weeks. I bought it as soon as it launched um, and I played with it quite a bit and I absolutely adore this palette. So it is your standard packaging for ColourPop, okay? So that is their cardboard packaging where they have the stuff on the back. This is $16, I believe. It's got beautiful butterflies here. And then there is no mirror. So some of their packages have mirrors. A lot of times if they don't, their standard packaging doesn't. And as you can see here, it is a mauve, or not even really mauve, I would say this is a cool toned plum palette. This is like my dream palette that I have been looking for since I got back into makeup and I threw away all my old, old, old makeup. Um, it is beautiful. These are the colors that I tend to gravitate towards. If you can see here, just to give you guys a show, there are four uh, shimmer shades here. There is one glitter. I'm not a big fan, but I'm glad they only did one. Um, there is two sequin shades, and I don't think that this has any, um... oh, there is a Super Shock. Which one is Super Shock? I think this one here is a Super Shock. I'll be honest, I'm having a hard time telling. I love their Super Shock shadow formula, but in their pressed, pressed, um, their pressed pans, it can be a little bit difficult to tell. So anyway, let's get into swatches, then I'll play a little bit with it and go over it for you guys. Okay, so we're just going to start down the row here. I tried to swatch it pre on my hand, and as always, I kind of got it mixed up on here. But anyway, um, just to orient you guys, it is going to be the first um, swatch here is going to be... Let me turn down my lighting a little bit. There we go. So the first swatch here is going to be a finger swatch, and then I did a brush swatch. So that first color here on the top corresponds to this one. Then we're going to go down to this one and this one. So those are the first two or three shades here. So this is a shimmer shade and a shimmer shade. This one's really beautiful for inner corner. Um, that first shade here is called Just Imagine. And then the second shade is called Sun Flare. And I think that is our Super Shock because it is acting like a Super Shock. That is a beautiful inner corner color. They did this Super Shock correctly in this palette. I've had some of the palettes where the Super Shocks just didn't quite work as right. Let me give you an example here. Um, I have a lot of color pop if you guys don't know that. So for example, in this, this is the uh, Sweet Talk palette. Not my favorite actually. Um, this is their Super Shock shadow and it feels like a Super Shock shadow, but it is just, let me just show you on my hand here. It just doesn't do much. So they did the Super Shock shadow really nicely on this one. Um, it shows up nicely. It feels great. It does that cream to powder formula. The next shade here is called Lush. This is really a good, if you're a light skin tone, a good like set all over eye shade. Now, this does not, so it hard panned when I tried to um, like finger swatch it, but then I took a brush and it did fine. Um, that doesn't really say much to this performance because obviously you're not going to be sticking your fingers into mattes, especially one that you're probably going to use as all over eye shade. All right, so our next row here is this row here with the glitter shade, and I'm just going to go over those colors here. So this color here is called Wild Wing. It's a mid-tone matte. It's beautiful. This is our um, glitter shade called Overrated, and it does swatch beautifully. I'm just gonna kinda shift it up there so you guys can see. Now, I used a silicone brush to uh, swatch this part here, 
and it did okay. Now, um, wiping this off using a thing like a makeup wipe does not work well. You really have to use soap and water to get this stuff off. It is like glitter everywhere. And then the final shade here, which is called Chick a Changes. Chick a Changes, that's what it's called. Um, it's a really pretty kind of browny plum color. This is a good transition shade color and it does apply beautifully with the brush. All right, going on to the back here again, trying, I'm gonna work on these swatches here a little bit better. This is gonna be our third row here. So this has a sequin and a shimmer at the bottom and a matte on top. So the first one here is called Made to Last. This is just a really pretty transition shade color. The next one is your sequence. Um, you can see a little bit in my finger swatch. It kind of, the glitter goes away in the brush one. I'm not a big fan of most sequin shades because I find they're kind of weird to work with. I find that the glitter just gets everywhere and it doesn't matter which brand I've used, which really is just ColourPop and the Tati palette, but I'm just not a big fan of them. They're pretty if you pack them on, but I find that they're like glitter explosions on your face. All right, and then the last one here is called Getaway, which is a really pretty silvery shade that can be used all over the lid. Our last row is our Deep Shade Road. Uh, row right here, which is that really beautiful plum shades. So the first one here is called Gotta Fly. That color is absolutely stunningly beautiful. So you can see finger swatch and then on the brush. This is called Angel On. It's a dark plum shade. I love this shade. And then this got a black shade with sequin in it called Float On. Again, a shade I don't really quite understand, but that is what it is. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pause, clean up my arm a little bit, and then we're gonna go in and play with this, and I'm just gonna show you a demo of how it looks. I love, love plum shades. Okay, I'll be back. All right, guys, it is wiped off. You can see it's some pretty good staining here. There's like a glitters herpes explosion, like Teresa is dead says. If you ever watch her channel, she talks about glitter just being like herpes all over. I agree with her on this. Okay, so let's just get into the demo real quick and um, go from there. So let me see if I can find my, I had it here. Here we go. So I always do a prep with just something simple like a NARS, um, a NARS uh, primer here. I gotta find a mirror. All my eyeshadow palettes do not have mirrors. So we're gonna pull out the Tati palette because it has a fabulous mirror in it. And since I keep mentioning it, so. We'll just use this here today. So this is just the NARS, um, what is this called? I use this all the time, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I like this, it works really well. You know, nothing too crazy. We'll just put it on there and then we will get started. So let's first go into with a nice fluffy brush. These are my Farrah brushes I got in a previous box, like Boxy Lux or Ipsy or one of those. I'm gonna go into Lush. Like I said, that's a really good um, shade to set the eyes here. So, anywho, we're just gonna put it on over it. It is basically my skin tone, and I just use it to set set this, so. It doesn't really show much color. I think if you had a darker skin tone, it might actually do something. But there you go, not much. Okay, so then we'll go in with a slightly smaller fluffy brush, and I am using my color switch from my FabFitFun. Um, I have another color switch, I'll have to find it. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's a bit like bigger than my other color switch, the, the, the stuff in there, so it's, I mean, it's working. All right, guys, let's get into, let's do this Wild Wing. Actually, yeah, let's start with Wild Wing here, which is this kind of mid shade, like cool tone plum. I'm trying to describe these really pretty. We're just gonna get in there and get going. And you can see it blends. I mean, I, I don't think I really have to go into how good the quality of ColourPop is for the price. This is probably, ColourPop is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. I mean, anyone who knows me in person and asks me about eyeshadows, this is the one I talk about. Like, it's just, for the price, I love these almost better than a lot of my more expensive eyeshadows. They just blend perfectly, they wear really nicely, and you can't beat the price. So, you know, like, I just, I really like it. And I love it because it gets you to be more adventuresome 
without having to spend a fortune on stuff. So I'm gonna deepen this ever up so slightly with this cha-ching color, or cha cha changes, um, which is this color right here. And I'm just gonna kinda go in here and deep it up just a little bit. I think I may do a halo eye today. Just change it up. Like I said, it's like 10 something at night. I need to finish decorating my Christmas tree. Yes, it's nine days into December and my Christmas tree is not done and I have a party coming up in just a couple of days and I need to actually decorate for it. <laughs> so um, yeah, there will be that tonight. Got a little bit of it done. Okay, so next thing we are going to do is we're going to do, I think we'll go into this really pretty shade called Gotta Fly. And I am going to use a brush and I'm gonna use this brush here, which is the Lexi 213 eye shading. And I'm just going to set it down in each, in the corner here. And I'll set it down And the other part here, I'll show you guys in this part here. Now the proper way to do a halo eye would be to, um, like, you know, do almost like a cut crease. I am all about simplicity with my eye looks and not going too crazy. So we're not doing that today. All right, so to deepen it up a little bit, I am going to go in with, I have this little brush here, which is my Luxie. It's like the round shading brush, I think is what it called. But anyway, I like it when I really need to get like a punch of a color and or really detailed into the corners. So I'm just gonna do that. The one thing I do like about these shimmers are you can either tone them up or tone them down. So if you really like, oh, and I just got that all over there. If you really like a pat, a uh, punch of color, um, you can really, really, really like go in with like your finger or a silicone brush and punch a color. Or you can do it a little bit lighter. So we're gonna do, I'll show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna take a silicone brush here and I'm gonna get into the color called Getaway, which is this really pretty silvery color. And as you can see, it picks up on my brush beautifully. And I'm just gonna put it right here in the middle, if you can see here. I'm gonna move a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. As you can see, that packs a really pretty punch. We're gonna do that on this eye here. And this will stay looking this shimmery through like a full work day. Okay, I'm gonna go back with the opposite side of my silicone brush and I'm just gonna kinda brighten up that inner corner shimmer there. Same color I used before. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little brush again and I'm gonna dip into that color Angel On, which is this dark color here, the matte. And I'm just gonna kinda deepen up the corner here a little bit and then go under here like that and under here okay now we're going to play with some of these lighter shades in the corners here just to give you guys an idea of how they look and i'm going to use my little liner brush the flat definer and I am going to go into, let's see, I think this really pretty Just Imagine color. And let's just go under here. And 
as you can see it does such a pretty job and then I'm gonna pop a little bit of that with this little Luxie mini round with the same color and we're just gonna touch into that inner corner right there and a little bit right there just so you guys can see a little bit there so pretty and then finally I'm going to just put a little bit I got this little brush here I'm going to take a little bit of that color, the Sunflake, the Super Shock, just a little bit, and just put a little bit on my brow bone. I mean, you don't, you can see I don't have to put much. And then just kind of blend it out with my finger, because man, that stuff's bright. So pretty. A little probably too much. All right, I'm just going to come back with this, nothing on here, and just kind of shade up, just so that it all blends together. Okay, so I'm gonna pause, put on some mascara, and we're gonna talk a little bit more here. All right, guys, I am back. I just did a little mascara, a little eyeliner, um, just a couple of things to touch it up, a little lip gloss. But if I haven't talked about this, which I probably should, I absolutely love the So Juicy lip glosses. I use them like every day. This is the Let It Happen. I use um, Let's Get Rowdy, I think, a lot more, but anyway. This is the completed look. So I did go ahead and tap just an, a little bit of glitter on the center of the halo just to give it a little effect. You guys know I don't use glitter very often, but I wanted to show you how it looks on the eye. Um, I only put a little bit of, um, what's it called? Concealer on the underside here. If anyone wants to know, this is the NARS Creamy in vanilla. But anyway, I did not really have any glitter fallout, which is really, really good. Um, yeah, I love this this palette. This is like one of my new favorites, which, you know, I have a lot of palettes, so I've been on palette overload, but this one is like, like this is my dream color story, and I know it's not the most exciting, but plums are like my favorite, favorite color story on my coloring and skin tone and everything, and I can wear them to work, and I can dress them up, and I can dress them down, and so I really enjoy this. I know some people like more colors, some people are not big into purples. I feel like this is like the non-scary purple for those that want to try purples, but don't really know what to do. Also, it's not as bright and colorful as, let's say, this one, which is a much more, like, bright magenta, and you've got, like, a bright purple. This is the Bye Bye Birdie. Like I said, I'll probably get around to, to this one. I have actually not played with this one much because I got this one and then literally got this one in the mail, and I have been gravitating towards this one. So that is everything. Um, if you guys want to stay tuned for just a second, I'll show you what else I used on my face. Um, so I really like this. This is the Mirabella um, Swirling Pearl highlighting power. I love this stuff. I got this back in like a Yes Oh Yes box, which Yes Oh Yes is then and gone. I have not used it and haven't gotten in years, but I really like this highlighter. Um, obviously, this is my um, bronzer I like. This is the Jouer Light to Medium Duo. I absolutely adore this duo. The Tarte uh, Double Duty Beauty um, blush. I really like Tarte blushes. And um, then this, which I have been saying I need to toss. Uh, this is the Mile High Club. I need to get a new one or a different mascara. This one is like, I, I, it's beyond its date. I really need to like switch it out. I just haven't gotten to. And then I used the 24-7 um, Glide On uh, Pencil and Space Dust. I really need to find a pretty kind of rosy toned or plummy toned, light toned um, eyeliner. I really just like putting them in my water area or you know in that area so anyway that is the look tell me what you guys think um you know has anyone else got this palette and absolutely love it and do you guys have any preference on palettes you want to see i have i have a ton of palettes and uh, i have tons of videos to do so if you guys have a, a subject or a palette or a thing that you're interested in let me know um i still have a bunch of stuff to video up so it is still changeable all right guys bye